Hi folks, Mike McDonald here again with you from Mayday Flight Tutoring with yet another video in the series of E6B videos. This is number four. And uh, the last one we did was talking about time, distance and ground speed calculations using the slide rule side of the E6B. Remember there's two sides to the E6B. There's the wind side and there's the slide rule side. We'll get to the wind side in another video. We're still on the slide rule side. Again, uh, the, this E6B, digital version of the E6B, um, I found through the University of North Dakota Aerospace Division, and it was made by Jared Thompson. You can see the credit at the bottom. And I'll put a link to this website in the description of this video. Um, so let's just get right to it. As, as you may recall in another video, or you may know, or may not know that although the E6B does come with a fairly extensive instruction manual very with problems and everything there's also instructions right on the e6b and just like the time distance uh time distance and ground speed section of the e6b you can see on the fuel burn you can see the instructions printed right on the device itself what does it say it said set gallons per hour with the black triangle that's the black triangle right there then it will equal any total gallons on the outside will equal time on the inside. Remember, we're doing fuel burn. So how much fuel do you burn per hour or pounds per hour in gallons or pounds? You can use gallons or pounds in your mind. It's interchangeable. Um, how much fuel do you have will determine how much time you have. How much time you're flying will determine how much fuel you burn. Or if you know how much fuel you burnt in a certain period of time, it will tell you your fuel burn in gallons per hour or pounds per hour. That simple. So let's say you're flying a Cessna 172 and you got a full set of tanks, all right? Well, that's, you know, you, you've done your, uh, you've done your uh, performance calculation for cruise uh, in the, the pilot operating handbook for that particular pressure altitude that you're flying and you determine that say it's eight gallons per hour. So eight gallons per hour. So the very first step to do is to set the triangle on eight. Now remember the E6B is a very versatile device and that can represent eight, it can represent 0.8, it can represent 80, 800, 8,000, 80,000, you get the picture. In this case, I'm making the 80 represent eight. I've set the triangle just like it asked me to against eight. So that means now that the outer ring and the inner ring have significance in terms of fuel burn. The outer ring is the amount of fuel in gallons or pounds, but we're using gallons in this particular example. And the inner ring, which is divided into two pieces, which are fixed together, as you can see, the inner ring has a outer section of the inner and an inner section of the inner. The outer section of the inner is just simply time in minutes. And the inner section is time in hours and minutes. So for example, 120 minutes is two hours, simple. So let's say that you've got, oh, I don't know, 40 usable gallons of, uh, in your airplane, and you know that you're burning eight gallons per hour. So I'll just reset that there to eight. Okay, so it's very simple. All you have to do, I'll just zoom out here to reorient you. We'll look for 40 on the outside. Oh, there's 40 gallons. Notice that it is sitting across from three zero or five zero zero. All right, now with 40 gallons at eight gallons per hour, it's not gonna be 30 minutes. It's gonna to have to be multiples of 10. The easiest way to look at it is just simply five hours or 300 minutes, all right? That's simple. You set your gallons per hour with the triangle, all right? Look on the outer for the amount of fuel, the inner for time. Let's say, for example, that, uh, so here we found the time, let's find the amount of fuel burned. So let's say we're burning, seven gallons per hour. So I'll set the triangle against seven. And let's say, for example, we were flying for 20 minutes. How much fuel will we burn in 20 minutes? All right. Well, we certainly wouldn't be burning between 23 and 24 gallons, would we? If we're only burning seven gallons per hour. So that must mean that we divide by 10. Remember, this thing works in multiples of 10. So in 20 minutes, you'd be burning a little over 2.3 gallons. And actually it'd be 2.32, 2.34 gallons. 
all right, at seven gallons per hour in 20 minutes. That simple, all right? So as you can see, this little calculation, if you have one piece of that information, you can find the other two, or two pieces of information, you can find the fuel burn. For example, say we burnt 200 gallons in three hours. Okay, this is not gonna be a Cessna. So I'm gonna take the 200, that 20 is now gonna mean 200, and there's three hours, all right? 200 gallons in three hours. Oops, let me just put that back. All right, now I'm gonna to move to the fuel burn, all right? So that means that you're burning not between six and seven in case 6.12345, uh, it would actually be 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66 and a half roughly gallons per hour, all right? So as you can see, um, you can work with large figures or with small figures, um, and you can find the fuel burn by knowing the time and the amount of fuel, or you can find the amount of time if you know the fuel burn and the amount of fuel, or you can find the amount of fuel burn if you have the time and the fuel burn. So these are all part of this equation, and the E6B very easily helps you work that out. Another little function of the E6B, just that they're not all exactly the same. Um, you can see these little uh, items with arrows. Not every E6B has them all, but they all have the basics, all right? You know, being a pilot, especially if you're a piston pilot, that 100 low lead fuel weighs roughly six pounds per US gallon. Well, I can prove it with the E6B. Here's US gallons arrow. If I was to put one US gallon, so I'll put this 10, which will represent one on the US gallons, I can actually find fuel pound zero. And you can see that the fuel pound is pointing just a little bit above the 60, which means six, all right? So that proves that it's a little over six gallons or six pounds per US gallon. The same thing can work with the weights of oil, for example. There is no quart function on the outer ring, but there is a uh, US gallon. So one US gallon of oil, all right, how much does that weigh? Well, here's an oil pounds arrow. And you can see it's roughly between seven and eight, pretty much seven and a half pounds per US gallon. Well, there's four quarts in a, in a gallon. So just simply divide that 7.5 by four, and that gives you the weight of a quart of your standard SAE 20, 20W50 oil. So just a couple of other little functions there just to get you used to using the E6B for quick measurements and calculations but we have achieved the task today we'll just do one more before we go something really standard okay so you've been flying along you had um, you want to go from a to b and let's say for example that you know it's uh, uh you're going to be flying for an hour and you've got 20 gallons of fuel all right and you know that your fuel burn is let's say six gallons so you're flying a cessna 152 so six gallons per hour and you're flying for one hour, okay? So that's 60 minutes. Well, look at that, they all line up, all right? How much are you gonna burn? Six pounds, it's right there. Say you're flying for 30 minutes. Well, there's your 30 minutes right here. Let me just get this moved up a little bit here. And you can use that you're using three gallons. Remember, these figures work on multiples of 10. So adding zeros or subtracting zeros. Yeah, so that's basically it. The uh, time and fuel calculations uh, using the E6B. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I plan to make many more, but with your help. And how could you help me? This is the first time I've ever asked this. I see other YouTube videos and they always ask, and I always say to myself, maybe I should ask too. Please hit the like button. It means a lot because then the algorithms kick in and my video makes it to more destinations. And follow me, please, with the subscribe button uh, for my YouTube channel. But even if you don't follow me, it'd be great if you hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. I want to make more videos. So I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I hope you have a great day. And uh, again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time on the ramp. All the best.